Hi, it's Habiba from Crafty Find My Love and welcome to today's video. Today I'm sitting in front rather than on my comfy chair. So you can see the set of two stenciled ombre pillowcases we're going to make together. In the next few minutes I will show you one, what supplies you need to make this frugal home decor DIY, two, how to mix your paint yourself from the primary colors using a color wheel and three, how to achieve that ombre look yourself. This video is my contribution to my friend Yami's The Look For Less Challenge and her co-host this month is Lindsay from Domer Home. Now, as Lindsay is also a creative friend of mine, it was a must to participate. Go check out their channels. I'll link to them in the info section below. <laughs> now, all participants are creating a piece of home decor for much less than we saw it in the shops. You and me together, we're going to get crafty right away. And at the end of the video, I will do some math and reveal how much money I was able to save on this project. And obviously you can do too. The basic supplies for this tutorial are obviously pillowcases, fabric paint and stencils. I want to reach out to Stencil Revolution, a wonderful company based out of Florida, USA, who reached out to me and offered me those two amazing stencils for free, plus free shipping to Germany, which is also very pricey and sometimes not even offered. They really must like my work, right? <laughs> I will make sure to leave the links to those stencils in the info section below and about 850 more because they do have a lot of pretty stencils plus all the other supplies you'll need for that project. You'll also be able to download a free guide to rock your very first or second or third or fourth <laughs> stenciling project as a beginner or intermediate. I recommend you start with a iron pillowcase. You'll place a piece of cardboard between the sheets so the paint won't leak through. Place your stencil where you want to have it and secure it with some painter's tape. We will be making an ombre look by going from the very darkest color to the lightest. I decided to place the darkest color on the bottom. Now, um, if you go to Google and search for color wheel, you'll find many images that will help you how to mix your favorite color using the primary colors. Now the primary colors are blue, red and yellow. You can mix orange out of red and yellow, which is what I did. I didn't have to mix the purple because I already had it at hand. And if you want to make a color darker, use black. If you want to make it brighter, use white. But remember, um, black, especially for black, a little goes a long way. Now, as you can see, I started with a little red. I planned on having red on my plate in several shades, like in a very dark one and a lighter one and then I mixed red and yellow into orange. Make sure to clean your little helper in between so your like the color base stays clean um, else you will have problem mixing other colors in future projects. purple. I wanted to have two shades of purple as well so I mixed the purple I already had at hand with a little black. Actually I put too much black in it in the beginning so I had to add more purple. I could have used some white. Um, simply give it a try, add and mix the colors together and stop when you're satisfied. To achieve a darker shade of red, simply add a little black to it. 
and mix well. See how nice that works. In the end I added the real red and the real unmixed yellow so I have options while pouncing with my foam brush. Make sure to load your brush and then dab on a little piece of kitchen towel so you won't overload your pouncer. You don't want the paint to, to be bleeding under the stencil. And then you start by those little dabbing motions and actually start with the brightest color. This way you can use just one pouncer and load it up with darker colors for each step. Go back and forth, mix in a little different type of shape, like here I used more yellow, added a little yellow to the orange mix and try to be all over the place at once. <laughs> if you go back over previously stenciled parts you will achieve that ombre look, that layering look. Doesn't have to be perfect in the beginning. You can go back in the end of this project, you will see that later, and just fill in the gaps to give the ombre look or your um, pretty... What's the name of that thing? Um, your pretty coral, a more natural look, that's it. <laughs> now I, you know, I, I, I used some bright red, then the darker ones, and then I started using the lighter purple and finished off with the dark purple at the end for the stem of my coral. And to round things up, I, you know, I even gave some lighter places a little purple accessories, I guess. To create that shading or shadowy look. I wanted to achieve. Now, it might come in handy to have a second sponge on hand if you decide to add a little uh, red or yellow or orange after you've used the purple, else you're gonna end up with Brown. All colors mixed together are brown as an end result. And as an end result. <laughs> What's wrong with my speaking today? Now, if you're done, you will peel off the painter's tape while the paint is still wet because this way you will end up having nice and crisp edges rather than maybe some you know ripped off already dried pieces of your paint and then ah, anticipation one more stripe and we can lift it up and see our artwork pretty right now go find a second stencil. I used Mr. Crab and continue doing the same steps as just before. Here I try to zoom in so you can see the ombre look, the layering of paint. And by not adding too much paint, you have these tiny white little spongy effects which actually actually represents the look of a coral. Now don't forget to clean your stencil. I simply use water, cold water in my hands as to not break the stencil. And once your once your paint is fully dry, you will iron it according to the directions of your brand of paint. For me it was 5 minutes. And here they are, all stuffed and happy on my happy chair. And as promised, I will show you now my inspiration from cutting edge stencils. I fell in love with this coral 
sadly they didn't ship the stencil kit which was 40 bucks to Germany it includes the pillow inlay the pillow cushion and brushes and some sort of frame to hold the stencil in place the paint is extra and this is mr. lobster which I turned into mr. crab I was able to make this project for 23 bucks because remember I got the stencils for free but you could recreate it for 47 as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up tell your friends about it and subscribe to my channel to see more crafty DIY tutorials <laughs> happy crafting and see you soon bye bye